Mic test, one, two, three, one, two, three. Do a capture device, sponsor, banner, picture, chat box, view account, rip box, microphone, speaker, why? Oh god, sound capture, speakers. Is there two microphones? One, two, three. Oh my god, there's two microphones. Okay. Parents pay pickup, but I got two, uh, two, two microphones in use. All right, let's do this. Right, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, the Definitive Edition. Uh, we got uh, Challenge Tombs. We got stuff new in the store. I'm pretty sure it's like just DLC stuff. Yeah. A bunch of it's just uh, like little nooks and crannies of the map. I guess you can unlock because I'm seeing like uh, the pillar, uh, mythic hunter. I guess that's a skin. this this is it a skin oh yeah, it is an outfit Uh, what's in this? Uh, maybe later. Um, options, we're gonna go for around the options first. Graphics. I figured it'd be like a uh, Okay, I think we're ready to go. Oh, 
Oh, wait. So, a while ago, I had a demo video go up of Shadow of the Tomb Raider, so I don't know if it actually... Because it's the first time I've actually logged in, so I don't know if it's actually... Crossing over my saves. Because if it is, it's not going to be good. I have to restart. Because I have not played this yet since I've got it last night. I, I have not. I've actually let it download and whatnot. And I've been playing other stuff like Tetris 99 and Mario Kart 8 and Legend of Zelda. There's no way. I'd love to know if it would actually load. I don't know if it did or not. So I think it did. I think it crossed my save over from when I played the demo. I gotta know what happens, but it wouldn't be fair to... Fair to you guys if you got tossed into right into the middle of the... It's the game, you know? So let's go to new game. Yeah, it did. Okay. Uh, overall difficulty smart and resourceful, easy, easy puzzle difficulty, easy. Okay, serious. No, that was almost a mistake. Shadow of the Tomb Raider was created in diverse, uh, talented team comprised of multiple genders, backgrounds, ethnicities, religious beliefs, and personalities. Although the game has been based on real life events, the represents a work of fiction is developed in con conjunction with historian and culture. Okay, whatever. Meh, whatever. Diversity. Boo. Um, Mike Sherlock. Don't know who he is. I had to look him up. Options. Okay, so the demo was pretty much the first half of the game. Well, not the first half, but the first, I guess, mission. Right. 
Now, here's now here's the irony. The fact you didn't want to jump out of the plane, the fact the plane split in half, and they both went different ways, is a different whole bit of irony right there. Because either way, he went flying. So far, everything's uh, going good. Uh, nothing, nothing too exciting for me to talk over or talk about what's happening. Uh, I could say what's going to happen, but I would rather not. It looks beautiful, though. <sighs> That's funny too. Like people want movies out of these games. I don't know that Tomb Raider had it. already had a movie like back in the early nineties, early two thousands with Angela Jolie, but fact that people just make a compilation on YouTube of all the cutscenes in game and pretty much you got yourself a movie. There's no, I feel like there's no, almost no reason. I was the company really wanted money, um, which I may end up being down to is making a movie out of this because cut cutscenes itself are already good enough. Like why would you? I'm out. You know. Be careful. The way into the site is full of traps. Can't use that gun with again. They're protecting something. Six weeks. There's still no salt leads on who's leaving the local Trinity cell. But I talked to some people in town, and they're excited. There's a VIP coming to the day of the dead. Name's Dominguez. You should look into it. I was pushing up, but I just don't know what happened. That's totally not honest. Not at all. Jonah, I made it. I'm on my way in. Almost there. Sorry, I didn't wait. Be careful.
Oh. Uh. Laura! Wow. You're the lord of this place. We saw that research paid off. Now we know what Trinity's after. Yeah, they really didn't want us in here. Glad we followed your father's notes. Mm -hmm. I saw where the passage collapsed on you back there. Want me to take a look at that wound? No, I'm fine. What is all this? Constellations. This inscription is some sort of riddle. Pink fish. Pink fish? Silver crowned mountain. There's a date here. But something's off. It looks like it was damaged, perhaps intentionally. Why would Trinity sabotage this? They usually just destroy everything. And now I think the damage is older. But who would have tampered with it? Laura! You gotta be loud. Drag me out, I'd still be in there taking pictures. You'd still be in there. Don't know if Our kills. Hey, you want to freshen up? Regroup at the cafe. Dr. Dominguez is supposed to be there tonight. Sounds good. I'll try and decipher the riddle, see if the date has anything to do with it. Right. Pink fish, Silver Crown Mountains, I'll look into it. By the way, this cafe is supposed to have really good food. I know the chef. I'm not very hungry. <laughs> After all of that, I'm starving. There he is. Anything new on Dr. Dominguez? Not much. He's leading a few Trinity digs in the area. My father mentioned him in his journal more than once. He's an expert on pre-colonial ruins. Everyone says he's a great guy. Big help to the town. So how's your leg? Try to look. The riddle. It's directions. To find the hidden city, go south along the shore until you find the pink fish. I, I found something for that. It's pink dolphins, found only in the Amazon. It goes on, um, then chase the heart of the serpent to the silver crowned mountain. Look at this. It's the constellation Hydra, the serpent. This star is the heart. It's set in the southwest. So southwest from the Amazon River, Brazil. This date from the ruins, see? If you look closely, it is damaged. This number looks like a Maya 13, but what if it's really an 8? With procession, it... What? Uh, procession. The Earth tilts, so over time, these stars appear in a different place on the horizon. Important if you're navigating by the night sky. Okay. In the Maya calendar, that's a 2,000 year difference. Back then, the heart of the serpent set directly to the west. So, that's why it's in Peru, not Brazil. Trinity has been looking in the wrong place. Exactly. We need to look for the Silver Crown Mountain in Peru. There's more. Um, something about uh, a key. What is Trinity looking for in the hidden city? Doctor, we found it. Yes. Show me. You heard that too, right? Let's see where he goes. Wait, hold on. Trinity's watching this place. Let's try to blend in.
Trinity's people are armed. I heard they brought in reinforcements. I'll stay out of their way. I want to avoid what happened with the last cell we took down. They must know we were at the other side. So much for a night off. Where did Dominguez go? It can't be far. It must be in the courtyard somewhere. Yeah. Let's look around. All right. Someone must know something. Hey, Sam. How's it going? A little bit of a uh, Cinco, Cinco de Mayo. Going on here? Day of, it might be dead, dead, uh, little, 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 day of the dead, which is my favorite. Uh, hol Honestly, my favorite holiday. I don't. Know. All this food is making it's my, my favorite uh, cultural ho holiday. Mm, smells delicious. Oh, so now you have time. I'm blending in. Let's keep looking. Don't mind me. It's behind your counter. Behind your food food stand. It's fine if I don't think about it. <laughs> oh dear. I'm sure I was just as mischievous as a child. No hay que castigarlo. El tequila se encargará de eso. Como bastante. Any sign of him? No. Let's keep looking. Yeah, it was a good idea. Keep giving the uh, cultural white language option on. Maybe I could light one for my mother. I'm not really used to crowds. You'd rather storm crowds. <laughs> no, this is fine. Nope. <laughs> You've certainly made an impression with the locals. I like it here. Good people. Jonah, he's at the gate. I think I can find another way over the wall. I'll take care of these guys. Hey, fellas, how you doing? Good. You can't come through this way. I heard there was some kind of crazy fiesta, like chicks and skull makeup. Y'all know anything about that? It's not for tourists. Ah, uh, no, you know Maria invited me. You know her? She's my cousin. My abuela, she was from here, don't look like it. I wanted to make like an offering. What's that thing you do with the blankets? All right, uh, you know what? I can see you guys are busy. I won't waste any more of your time. Y'all keep on trucking. Thanks for your service. Keeping us safe. Hey, Jonah, I'm in. Good. Those guards weren't at the gate earlier. Dominguez must suspect something. Excuse me. Oh, I thought about uh, when I was playing this for the first time. If I went through the uh, went through this little section here, I'd find like a hidden grave with someone's name on it from the development team. Uh, but uh, no, I haven't. If there is, I haven't seen it yet. Yes, sir. They are ready for anything. Jonah. Dominguez is not just the leader of the cell. I think he's the leader of Trinity. We need to be careful. Laura. Yeah, yeah, I heard you. Oh, my fault. Uh. 
I don't like the fact you're slow walking through all this. Makes me a little bit impatient. But I guess it is what it is. They might have noticed me. I'll try the back alley. We'll find another way around. Oh, yeah, I like those skulls. I might, I've always wanted a, uh, a Cinco de Mayo skull. Oh boy. Sorry. Cierra la puerta al salir. Right. He's off the rocker. Don't worry. Go. Hey. The readings at the site are unlike anything we've ever seen. It's the key to our next phase. If this is it, we'll be ready. <sighs> Jonah, they've entered the dig site. It's fenced off and there's a guard at the gate. I'll find another way in. I found a good spot. I'll watch the perimeter. There you go. I won't hurt you. You work for Trinity. What did they find? Well, they've been searching for a temple entrance for many years. Today they found it. I have to go warn my sister. She's on her way here now. Useful, I guess. Jonah. Trinity just tried to kill a local archaeologist. Oh god. I have to find what they're looking for. This is Commander Rourke. All teams, get ready for Operation Blackout. I'd better check those ruins. Anything else here that I should be worried about? Oh, yeah. Oh, you? I better take a look at those ruins. I know 
goddess figure. Ishel, the goddess of the full moon. Oh, and this is Shaksha, the new moon. There's an inscription. Shakshel, the key lies beyond her gaze. The key. This is it. The entrance must be down there. Got to make my way down. Okay, this should work. All right, so there's a waypoint down there. Um, All right. I've had a choose between. I mean, I grew up with some of this two Raider. I played I some of them when I was a bit young. When I say younger, but when I was, yeah, I guess when I was a bit, bit younger, I played some of them. I mostly played the Uncharted. Uh, not because it was a male or that I didn't play female centric games. It was just that at the time. I was some of my like one of my friends was playing uh, Uncharted, so I figured I'd uh, figured I'd check check it out. I started playing that and uploading it because I grew up with India Jones, and I've always liked uh, those like that style of adventure. So I guess playing games like uh, Tomb Raider and then Uncharted, it's kind of like more of that. I want to say it's more. It's more tailored to like my style. Like I do like playing other games with Call of Duty and uh, all units, Minecraft and all that. Like I'm a, like I'm a variety streamer. I'll play pretty much almost anything besides um, some horror. But uh, when it comes to uh, adventure games and like games like games like Tomb Raider and Uncharted, are ones I'm more prone to play than probably any other. But you know, some of those games, like most of these games, like Tomb Raider and Uncharted. They uh, they don't have like it, like it's a so, like I want to say it's a so sub genre. It's a certain genre genre where it's like yes, it's action, yes, it's adventure, but yeah, not too many games are actually out that are like based around or upon that, you know. So it's a kind of like a niche. I want to say a niche diversity of game or games, you know. Yeah, going back and forth. Uncharted. Now the thing with Uncharted is that the par parkour on that is kind of more forgiving. Because uh, they can very much climb the wall in two, two seconds. So, like he, like, Nathan Drake, like, auto locks to some, like, to some of the walls and whatnot. But, uh,. No, but with uh, Tomb Tomb Raider, you got to be kind of more careful and make sure where you want to go is where you want to go. So there's no like, Jonah, I'm entering a cave. It doesn't. Just, it's contact. very un un unforgiving. I'll keep an eye on Trinity out here. Used for endurance. Okay, so it's stamina. I think too with the two murder that it's puzzle. So I guess you could say it's a puzzle game. Uh, Uncharted doesn't really have that, to be honest. It's kind of more of like a uh, the carvings on this adventure than puzzle. Far too deteriorated to read. Actually, what is Uncharted classified as? Let's look this up. <laughs> uh, Uncharted. I'm sure it's an action adventure third person shooter platformer video game series developed by Naughty Dog. Yeah. Okay, so what's Tomb Raider then? Because if it's a third person platforming adventure, what is Tomb Raider considered as? Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider is, is also known as Arqua. <laughs> oh, it's an action adventure video game series created by British gaming company Core Design. Uh, 
action adventure. Yeah, so it's, so it's an action, so it's an action adventure, and apparently Uncharted is more of like a, uh, but more for extended of that. Because uh, Lara Croft is is action adventure and Tomb Raider, or uh, yeah, Tomb Raider is more action adventure and Uncharted is uh, platforming first person shooter adventure game. Apparently, I don't want to say apparently like I didn't know. Oh god! Oh Sweet too, there's there's gonna be traps in this so. I may forget those traps and just run right into it. Oh, rats. Fantastic. Wow, her hair. This goes off to the side. Maybe there's something underwater. Oh, there's a Neil. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> no, don't. I didn't think I didn't think it would actually go all the way back. Oh. There we go, there it is. Maybe just made if somebody could actually fit right through that. Oh boy! Dominguez is looking for. Yeah, hey, I got a skill point. Come on, there's gotta be something in here. Just... Oh, okay, so we need to upgrade a knife. But it's nice so we can come back and play, you know? Oh, um. Now see, now that's now that's what I mean. You gotta look out for. Huh? What? <laughs> huh? Yeah. 
So don't go down. Go up. There it is. Jonah, I made it. I'm in an underground temple. God of bells. That's not good. Who? I can tell it's causing tremors. There's a pyramid. I'm gonna get to the top. that can help me reach the top. Looking for something to weigh them down. You're breaking up. Got some activity here. I'm gonna get closer. I'll need to use a rope arrow to destroy that gate. the card to raise the bells. Oh my. There we go. No. God. I think uh, besides Mortal Kombat, I think Tomb Raider has the most brutal deaths in the like in that I've, I've ever seen, and that's a fact. I'm like, oh, okay, no, sorry, I just took a second for me to realize what I had to do. But what I'm gonna do is actually snap this. Actually, I can't. I need that. Push that.
Turn it around. It was actually like the first time I did this, uh, like way back when the game first came out like a year or two ago. I think it's been a year. Uh, it took me about 45 minutes to figure out this <laughs> puzzle. You can tell that I'm not very much. Tell I'm not very much into uh, puzzle set such a game, so it would make take you know, like a second to, uh, you know. And so what I need to do is actually turn it the opposite way. So then. Oh, keep on, keep on keeping on. There we go. So in that way, cut this. Push this to this, and then we spin it. Other way. <laughs> So this is what you do is break right through the uh, the barricade, uh, actually allowing the bell to be uh, unstuck, like so. Dude, after you ever put up the uh, Tomb Raider on the on the Switch, Tomb Raider or. Uh, I know Sony well, because not Naughty Dog loves their Sony titles. Uh, but... What was that? What was that? Can someone explain to me what that, what that just was? Besides, besides my death, because uh, that was something. But no, I don't think that... Uh, I honestly don't think that um, Tomb Raider, or not Tomb Raider, uh, maybe Tomb Tomb Raider go, but I don't think that uh, Uncharted will ever come to Switch, because it is a Sony, I guess a Sony exclusive is what they'll call it. No. I don't know what I was doing there. I just need to take a second and realize what I need to do. There we go. I mean, I pretty much knew that was going to kill me, but... Okay. So I was right, I just didn't... Ah! Oh, do it safely! Great. I'm going way too fast, man. Jonah. Yeah, I'm here. Jonah, there's a mural here. 
It shows a box. Inscription says, the silver box of Isha. That must be what's in the hidden city. This is a Maya myth. It says the box will summon the god Kukul Khan. Creation god. Is that what Trinity's after? Wait, there's more. Looks like a series of cataclysms. A tsunami. A storm. An earthquake. Volcanic eruption. So much for the god of creation. Well, in my belief, Kukul Khan is the god of creation and destruction. This looks like the Hydra constellation, but the stars seem out of alignment. The key to Ishel's heart unlocks the cleansing. We can't let Trinity get hold of this. Let's think this through. Hey, shit! Laura! Trinity guards are coming your way. Oh, you just cost one thing. You said the dagger Get to was gonna cost. <laughs> Bushes. How's it going with that pup? <laughs> Answer me! You finished with that pup yet? Operation Black has been initiated. None of the local workers leave the site alive. Ah, fuck. We have planned for this. Make sure the perimeter is secure. And that is how you do it. Thank you. 
So much for doing the stealth. Yeah, this might take me a second. Oh! Are we all clear? Those explode, okay. Ugh. All right. I was trying to explore around that corner, but okay. Safe place. You know what? It never occurred to me that you would just take it. With this key and the silver box, we can remake the world. Without witness, cruelty. And certainly with none of this. But without the box. The apocalypse. The death of the sun. You're lying. Lara. You felt it when you took the key. Tremors are common. A tsunami is coming. This is the first of many catastrophes you're doing! You would have done the same! Cleansing 
has begun. Force to me now to stop it before it consumes us all. Oh my. Oh, I think I was supposed to be pulling, right? <laughs> I would book I would play for a second and I'm dead. Oh yeah, the the flood. Phase one. No, 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 no. Oh. oh, my. What? It pushed. I didn't even. Oh my! This might take take a second. Are you there? No, I don't need air again. No. When I was already doing it, but I timed it. <laughs> I got knew what was gonna happen. Wait, right, bud. Wait, the, the one, why is our hand swipe spaced open? Two, didn't she just have a gun? Alright, no, I guess the bullets are less compactive underwater when they're like less pressure. Like, oh, I'm moving again. Uh, once the bullet, once the gun's on water, you try to shoot it, the bullets move slowly because of the pressure that's already in the water and whatnot. more of these, huh? Ugh. 